Hello everyone, welcome to Current Affairs MCQs program. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was, recently the Palm Jagri Udangudi Panangaru Patti has got the geographical indication tag that is GI tag. It belongs to which of the following? Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala or Telangana? The correct answer is option A, Tamil Nadu. Recently, the Intellectual Property of India on Tuesday conferred a geographical indication tag for the famous Udan Gudi Panangaru Patti. The geographical indications registry recognized the uniqueness of the delicacy known since time immemorial for its sucrose concentration, sap collection method, traditional method of preparation, and packaging methods. The Udan Gudi Panangaru Patti is also referred to to as the palm jaggery which is prepared using the palm sap collected from the inflorescence of palmyra trees. Usually the palmyra climber crushes the flowering shoots of male palmyra trees and the inflorescence of female palmyra trees and ties an earthen pot to stock the previous evening to collect the sap oozing overnight. Therefore option A is the correct answer. Now let's begin today's session. First question is Consider the following statements regarding the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India that is TRI. 1. It is a statutory body. 2. It was set up in 1997. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. That is both the statements are correct. Recently, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting has notified amendments to the Cable Television Network's rules of 1994 laying out operational mechanisms to enact the decriminalized sections of the Cable Television Network's Regulation Act 1995. The Authority for Cable Television Network's Regulation Act 1995 is TRAI. The TRAI, that is Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, is a statutory body. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It was set up by the Government of India under Section 3 of the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India Act 1997. Hence, statement 2 is also correct. The headquarters of the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India is located in New Delhi. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, what is the IUCN status of platypus recently seen in the news? near threatened, vulnerable, endangered or critically endangered? The correct answer is option A, near threatened. Recently, new research revealed that platypuses are disappearing from waterways. The black summer bush fires swept across eastern Australia in 2019-20. Platypus is a duck-billed, beaver-tailed, otter-footed, egg-laying mammal. It is a small species of semi-aquatic mammal indigenous to the eastern coast of Australia. They are nocturnal hunters. They are found in freshwater systems from tropical rainforest lowlands and plateaus of far northern Queensland to cold, high altitudes of Tasmania and the Australian Alps. The IUCN status of the platypus is near threatened. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the paddy variety Pusa 44 recently seen in the news. 1. It was developed by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. 2. It is a low yield variety. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option A, 1 only. Recently, the Punjab Chief Minister announced that the state will ban the cultivation of the Pusa 44 variety of paddy from next year in Punjab. Pusa 44 was developed in 1993 by the Delhi-based Indian Council of Agricultural Research, that is ICAR. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Pusa 44 is a long-duration variety taking around 160 days to mature. This is around 35 to 40 days more than other varieties, requiring 5 to 6 extra cycles of irrigation. Farmers claim that Pusa 44 yields nearly 34 to 40 quintals per acre, while other varieties yield average is 28 to 30 quintals per acre. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the repo rate. 1. It is the rate at which the central bank lends money to commercial banks. 2. It is used to control inflation. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 
वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ वन एंड टू रिसेंटली द आर बी आई मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कमेटी हैज केप्ट द की पॉलिसी रेपो रेट अनचेंज्ड एट सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट रेपो रेट इज द रेट एट विच द सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ अ कंट्री दैट इज रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन केस ऑफ इंडिया लेंड्स मनी टू कमर्शियल बैंक इन द इवेंट ऑफ एनी शॉर्ट फॉल ऑफ फंड हैंड स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट रेपो रेट इज यूज बाय मॉनिटरी अथॉरिटीज टू कंट्रोल इन्फ्लेशन हैंड स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट इन द इवेंट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन सेंट्रल बैंक इंक्रीज रेपो रेट एज दिस एक्ट एज अ डिस इंसेंटिव फॉर बैंक टू बोरो फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल बैंक देर फॉर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग द आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वन इट वॉज सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय द सेवनटीन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट टू इट हैज प्रोविजन फॉर द पावर्स ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट टू मेक रेगुलेशन फॉर सर्टन यूनियन टेरिटरीज विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट गिवन अब इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी टू ओनली रिसेंटली द यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव्ड टेनेंसी रेगुलेशन फॉर द यूनियन टेरिटरीज ऑफ अंडमान एंड निकोबार दादरा एंड नगर हवेली एंड दीयू दैट कम्स अंडर द आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वॉज सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय द सेवंथ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट इन द सेवंथ ईयर ऑफ द रिपब्लिक ऑफ इंडिया हैंस स्टेटमेंट वन इज नॉट करेक्ट द आर्टिकल टू फोर्टी एम्पावर्स द प्रेजिडेंट टू मेक रेगुलेशन फॉर द यूनियन टेरिटरीज हैंस स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट This article was amended by the 27th amendment of the Constitution of India. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news the Veer Gatha project 3.0 is a joint initiative of Ministry of Defence with which of the following? Ministry of Culture, Ministry of Communications, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting or Ministry of Education. The correct answer is option D Ministry of Education. Recently more than 1.36 crore school students from 36 states and UTs participated enthusiastically in the third edition of the Veer Gatha project. The students sent poems, paintings, essays, videos etc to honor the acts of bravery and sacrifice of the officers or personnel of the armed forces. Project Veer Gatha was instituted under the Gallantry Awards portal in 2021. The Ministry of Defence in collaboration with the Ministry of Education had decided to launch project Veer Gatha 3.0 in 2023-24. Therefore option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Unlawful Activities Prevention Amendment Act. One it has 10 years of imprisonment as the highest punishment. Two it only has the provisions to designate individuals as terrorist not the organizations. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. That is, both the statements are incorrect. Recently, the Unlawful Activities Prevention Amendment Act was seen in the news regarding the action on some journalist under the act. It was passed in 1967 and aims at effective prevention of unlawful activities associations in India. it has death penalty and life imprisonment as the highest punishments hence statement 1 is not correct according to the act the union government may proclaim or designate an organization as a terrorist organization if it commits or participates in acts of terrorism prepares for terrorism promotes terrorism or is otherwise involved in terrorism hence statement 2 is not correct The bill also empowers the government to designate individuals as terrorist on the same grounds. Therefore option D is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news the term blue walker 3 refers to prototype satellite, distant star, dwarf planet or massive black hole. The correct answer is option A prototype satellite. Recently an international team of scientists have published a paper detailing the impact of the prototype Blue Walker 3 satellite on astronomy it is a prototype satellite part of a satellite constellation planned by its owner AST Space Mobile it was launched in September 2022 it is the largest ever commercial communications array deployed in low earth orbit and is designed to communicate directly with cellular devices via 3 gpb standard frequencies at 5g speeds therefore option a is the correct answer Next question is consider the following statements regarding the National Turmeric Board. 
One, the Ministry of Commerce will be the nodal department providing funds and infrastructure for the board. Two, the chairperson of the board will be appointed by the central government. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, the government of India notified the constitution of the National Turmeric Board. It will focus on the development and growth of turmeric and turmeric products in the country. The Ministry of Commerce will be the nodal department providing funds and infrastructure for the NTB, which will look into increased demand, usage, production, research, market linkage, exports and so on. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The board shall have a chairperson who will be appointed by the central government. Hence, statement 2 is also correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Last question is recently seen in the news. The Burevestnik missile is a nuclear powered cruise missile, subsonic cruise missile, ballistic missile or hypersonic missile. The correct answer is option A, nuclear powered cruise missile. Recently, President Vladimir Putin has claimed that Russia had successfully tested the Burevestnik missile. Burevestnik missile whose name translates as Storm Petrol is a ground-launched, low-flying cruise missile that is not only capable of carrying a nuclear warhead, but is also nuclear-powered. In theory, the nuclear energy could let it fly around the world several times before hitting its target. It is powered by a small nuclear reactor which heats up air to propel the missile forward. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Now, it's time for the practice question. On which of the following days the world Cerebral Palsy Day is celebrated. 4th October, 5th October, 6th October or 7th October. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.